on top of the uh, Divan Kuru Cheshme. We're in Kuru Cheshme, and Kuru Cheshme is on one of the most interesting topographic, geographical places in the world, I think, uh, the Bosphorus. And uh, this is the European side of the Bosphorus. The Divan Kuru Cheshme is built right on the shoreline here. And behind me, you'll see the kind of very sharp face of this hill. Um, Istanbul, the Bosphorus is a series of hills. And right now, we can see one of them clearly. It also has a very old and uh, I think very colorful indigenous tree flora uh, condition. I think it's one of the interesting things about the Bosphorus. It's a quite natural area. So we're seeing uh, that the Divan Kuru Cheshme is actually built on a very steep hillside. Um, and in order to keep uh, up, keep the, this hill from falling down, we there was a very large retaining wall was built. And this retaining wall comes from the Ottoman past of the Divan Kuru Cheshme building when the two yellow, Bosphorus side yellow, were in front. And these retaining walls were set up in the back on this steep hillside to make sure that uh, some of the stone, there's actually a stone and, 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 and dirt area up here that's still probably very, very old. Uh, it doesn't slide down the hill and hit our building, which are two Bosphorus side yellow. GAD architecture for this building uh, combines various strategies in restoration and renovation of Ottoman historical architecture. And this wall uh, is part of that restoration project. This is actually a very old Ottoman wall. Uh, it's a brick and stone wall. Here on this section, we can see a lot of stone, stone masonry, stone infill. Uh, the wall uh, has been partly cleaned up. Uh, the surface has been cleaned up. Uh, the plaster has been uh, corrected in various areas where there were depressions. You can see that nature is still a very important and existing factor here, but the GAD project has really improved the site as a place that can be used today. The staircase I'm standing on is a very uh, new uh, piece of stone masonry, but it retains some of the qualities of this older fabric with a newer attempt to create a stone masonry architecture here in Kuru Cheshme on the Bosphorus uh, to retain the historical past, but bring it into the modern condition. One of the unique aspects of the project, which has been an attempt to re retain some of the old materials and fabric, was to actually move parts of the building or parts of buildings that were here in Kuru Cheshme in the Divan space, uh, that when uh, a larger new building was built on top, these were discovered underground. And one of those buildings that was discovered is this building here. This is actually the foundations of that building, uh, where the retaining wall meets uh, the back garden of the Yella. And as you can see, the building foundation, there was a building like this. This was actually physically moved from its location down by the water up here into the retaining wall area and exists as a kind of museum piece, it exists as a kind of physical heritage of the site that visitors can, can come and interact with this space. So the space is a building. You have to imagine there was a building on top of this, and this is what's left of it. We have this terracotta tile, these hexagonal tiles, and this will be the floor of the space. There was one room here and another room here. There was a couple of entranceways here, and it was probably a, some kind of storage area. It could also have been some kind of quarters, servants' quarters uh, for the Yella, because the Yella had a large service staff. Uh, the care in which this was brought up here shows, I think, the interesting part of this project was to retain the historical fabric as an architectural element within a new concept of what contemporary Ottoman restoration can be like. Here on the retaining walls on the upper part of the Divan Kuru Cheshma, we can see it one-to-one, -one, these foundations as they sit here, and you can see what life was led here before uh, these new buildings were made. This is another outbuilding that was 
previously in the Garden of the Yellow, further down towards the Bosphorus. And as part of the project at the Divan Kuruchesh is a restoration project to retain some of these existing aspects of the fabric. This was found underneath the garden area, and this is actually a laundry building, an outbuilding for laundry. Here in the back, we can see this very large basin where water would have filled in here, and two other basins here. Uh, this would have been for perhaps cleaning laundry, but also for watering various animals, horses that might have come in and out, uh, other animals that would have been on the site. Uh, but at the same time, you can see here this uh, stone uh, pavement, is very large stone pavement and various marbles. Shows the history of the place, really. I mean, these kinds of stones are very specific to Islam, all these marbles, marmor marbles, and also beige marbles. And right up here in front are two grinding stones. And these stones would also have been used for the purposes of the two yellow buildings for grain and other types of food products. So this building's foundations were actually taken from where they were and brought up here on the terrace along with an outbuilding, along with a couple of other smaller buildings. And they exist here as an outdoor museum. Uh, and they have uh, wall plates next to them that explain where they are. So in, the, in terms of the experience of Divan Kuru Cheshme, it also exists as a museum of the architecture of these two Bosphorusad yellow that were built in the late 18th, early 19th century. And they provide a living a living connection to the past life of these Bosphorusad mansions throughout the 19th and 20th century. The Divan Kuru Cheshme has two significant building systems. It has a stone masonry building system from the Ottoman past, but it also has a new steel and glass construction technique, which is what we can see down there. The transformation, the transition between the two has been achieved through a kind of regulation of colors and materials in green, brown, but also significantly a landscape design program where you can see here on top of this mesh, uh, big planters have been put there to kind of continue some of the natural condition that we saw earlier above on top of the hillside. This melding of marble, stone masonry, steel mesh and brown, nature, and the kind of organic forms is one of the highlights of the architecture. I think it shows the possibility of creating a new contemporary architecture here on the Bosphorus while retaining respect for its historical past. On these terraces of Divan Kuru Cheshme have been organized with some landscaping, uh, this system of arches and vaults of the old retaining walls. But importantly, up here on these two or three large terraces, which this is an event space, various cocktail parties and receptions uh, have and will occur in these spaces. Parts of the back yard, the back garden of the yellow, have been moved up here. And one of them is this eight-sided pool. And this eight-sided pool would have been in the backyard of this yellow. And there's a marble base for it, and there would have been a marble fountain. Uh, this was found and moved up here on this first terrace, I, I would like to call. And we can see that uh, the stone and brick have added a different layer, historical layer, to the existing retaining walls and to this existing uh, system of arches and vaults. And this other element, this decorative element of the past of the Yella has been moved up here and it creates a connection between the history of the Yella and today's use so people can interact with this uh, at the party or reception and understand that they're part of a very historical building. We're here on one of the large terraces that are used for events here in Kuru Cheshme, at the Divan Kuru Cheshme. Um, and here I think you can see quite clearly uh, this combination of contemporary and historic architecture here in this wall here, the retaining wall, which has, uh, supports this hillside, but at the same time creates these spaces uh, and angles of view here in the Bosphorus, creating a kind of different condition, historical condition in architecture, but also contemporary condition. Uh, these stairs uh, and these balustrades, these new uh, elements, uh, work within the context of this architecture to create really a 
union of the old and the new. The Divan Kurut Cheshme uh, has a combination of the old and the new. And here, underneath this uh, arch here, and this arch is part of this retaining wall system. Uh, and the arch previously existed to uh, hold up this hillside here, but also created other spaces that were used uh, during the Ottoman times. But today, this has all been opened up uh, and there's a larger sense of space. So we go from this uh, arch and it frames. In fact, when we walk into this space here, we're on the Bosphorus, so there's a lot of boat noise behind us. Uh, when you come here, you can see the effort that's been put in to make this building adapt to its contemporary condition, contemporary life. This is a very large outdoor event space. And you can see here the dramatic size of these retaining walls and the different systems that were used. Systems with brick bands, systems, uh, this arch also in brick. Uh, and behind us were the various cisterns, the water uh, depots of the building. Uh, and uh, the space and the scale of it becomes quite readily apparent. There's actually a very large retaining wall and actually a very large building uh, that's here. And this is the historic part of the Divan Kuru Cheshme, uh, but adapted to contemporary use. Uh, the Bosphorus has a quite long summer season, let's say, and for events, the Bosphorus side, being on the Bosphorus shoreline for weddings, and other types of event is, is a quite dramatic location. Here we can see that when you're standing here, you have access to this area. The retaining wall has interesting nooks and cavities uh, created by various brick structural pieces. And this is one of the most dramatic ones. This is actually a kind of like half pyramid which is then transitions into an arch. And these are quite wide and flat bricks. And it creates a kind of semi-dome-like structure here. And this leads into one of the guest rooms. So uh, this complex system of arches and vaults in brick and stone uh, has uh, really an interesting uh, structural aspect to it that GAD has retained and it's pulled away the surface uh, uh, away from the building such that we can actually see this brickwork and see the structural aspects of this retaining wall, this system of arches and walls. And here are kind of half dome created from a very wide arch. The Divan Kurut Sheshme has a uh, steel and glass architecture, structural steel, there's some reinforced concrete, but here on the roof, on the terrace, the most dramatic aspect is this titanium zinc roof. And here you can see that the titanium zinc roof, it's a kind of wavy structure. Uh, it's been crafted by hand to create this kind of circular shape, and it reflects the waves of the Bosphorus you see behind me. This transition between this roof, uh, its structural steel bit, you can see the structural steel uh, here on uh, the first level. Then it gives way to this titanium zinc roof. And this system of arches uh, creates a big event space underneath it. It's the main banquet hall, the main gala hall, let's say, of the Divan Kuru Cheshme. And this system of rounded forms it some way reflects and echoes the system of arches and vaults of the large retaining wall that exists behind the building. This is actually a new part of the Divan Kuru Cheshme. This is the most dramatic part of its present incarnation here uh, in Kuru Cheshme 2022, the GAD architecture plan. And uh, it is an addition to contemporary architecture here on the Bosphorus. We're here on the shores of the Bosphorus, and the Bosphorus has had a kind of history, a kind of architecture that has reflected this kind of seaside condition. And this is a contemporary version of this that GID architecture has created. Divan Kuru Cheshma has quite a complex steel roof, steel structure. Uh, it's a system of steel 
structural architecture, which is quite visible, and it's part of the contemporary architectural condition we find here. So we have uh, this very large roof because this is uh, the main banquet area. So we need to be able to create a large open space. And we did it GAD architecture with this system of steel columns, uh, rafters and purlins. So the rafters, you can see these I-beams in steel, structural steel, you can see that they're I-beams, uh, create the main wavy roof that's on top of me. And these cross spaces or purlins uh, create a secondary structural layer of the building. Uh, and this roof, uh, then the modulation of the arches of the steel structural brackets gets increasingly larger as we move to the center and it's become the kind of iconographic aspect of the building. You can see here uh, that it's been actually used for the branding of the building. Uh, here on this side, uh, we can see that uh, this system of purlins and cross braces has been uh, exposed and juts out underneath this main space. And interestingly enough, uh, the mechanical systems, the cooling vents are also quite visible within the system of structural steel brackets, columns, purlins, uh, and on the roof, this titanium uh, zinc roof to create this ensemble of structural steel architecture, quite visible, quite expressive, and importantly, a new contemporary architecture in steel on the Bosphorus by GAD Architecture for the Divan Kuru Cheshme. Ivan Kuru Cheshme has a quite an interesting collection of surfaces. One of those surfaces is actually painted steel, but it reflects uh, an attempt to create natural textures, kind of biophilic textures, textures with rich patterns, rich colors. This brown color resembling Corten steel is part of the overall steel expression in this building. There's a combination of Corten with here a stainless steel and it creates an ensemble that is quite contemporary, but it melds in with the flora, the melds in with this landscaping, the vines that have overgrown here to kind of create a combination of a steel modern architecture with nature. The new stone surfaces of this building are made out of a local from the Near East uh, kind of marble, this green marble with this veining pattern. And the coursing here, here we have a coursing in rectangular, large rectangular marble tiles, uh, kind of divided coursing, and that leads down here to the same marble, but in a different tiling pattern. So uh, the marble, the green textures have been modulated from the wall uh, to the pavement in a way that reflects a well, the historical continuity of this building because we have lots of stone architecture behind us and there's retaining walls, but this is a kind of modern application of marble and coursing and tiling. Uh, and especially this rich green marble, I think is given this natural colors of this area, the, the various flora, the hillside, the trees, and importantly, the old stone retaining walls. And it works with them to complement the red and the rust colors with this green color, which are all quite natural tones and natural colors. And I think give uh, the Divan Kuru Cheshme, a particular natural, contemporary architectural design by GAD Architecture that was the intent to create a new type of architecture here for the Bosphorus. So we're here on the Bosphorus in front of the Divan Kuru Cheshme. This is a event space, uh, area used for a building used for weddings, different types of meetings here on the Bosphorus. Uh, and the first aspect of the building's architecture is really, when you come here on the entrance side, the system of retaining walls, the Ottoman past and this brick and stone architecture is very much visible at the start of the experience of the building. We're here on the Bosphorus shoreline. It's a very popular location here in Istanbul. We're on the European side, across from us is the Asian side. And you can see here, when we look across this section, this perspective, the system of arches, vaults, actually starts here at the ground level, at the level of the shore road. Where I'm standing now used to be two Bosphorus side yella. These were wood timber buildings. They were in fact right here. But when this wall was built, uh, those buildings disappeared and 
right behind us at Ivan Kuruchesh is in fact the back garden of these two yellow that would have been like right exactly where I was standing. And right now they sit kind of discreetly here on the Bosphorus uh, from this shoreline and people can come in here and the parking is underneath the building. So we have this adaptation of this very old building to contemporary use uh, and also in this very vital and very central part of Istanbul, which is here on the Bosphorus. We're here at the entrance area of the Divan Kuruceshme. Uh, this entrance area uh, comes directly from the Kuruceshme shoreline street. And this is the main entrance of the Divan Kuruceshme. And here we can see this very expansive terrazzo floor. Terrazzo is a cement with marble in it. It's a combination of the two, and this has been colored in red. But importantly, we have here a kind of graphic system. The graphic system here, all these grays and terrazzo changes in terrazzo color are actually the traces of the back garden's water elements and plumbing system before this yellow was transformed into this event space. Uh, these are systems of terracotta pipes that come from the cisterns, the water cisterns on the retaining walls. GED's task was to retain these pipes here as a kind of graphical, historical layer within the building using this terrazzo system. And you can see this water pipe here, this was a terracotta pipe. Uh, and it was surrounded by these stone pieces. It would go all the way up and you could see how it comes right here. Over here would have been the Bosphorus side yellow. So it's providing water straight into the yellow, which is no longer here. And it provides a layer of history within this contemporary architectural setting. Many of these pieces have been moved up into the terraces. What we have here is a eight sided uh, pool, we have the previous hammam, we have a outbuilding, a laundry building, and all this plumbing and other water features of the backyard of these yellow have been retained by GAD architecture in this important restoration project that brought a kind of contemporary design feel in Terrazzo. You can see here the changes in color, the different traces. It looks like a kind of museum installation, but in fact, it is the aspects of the old building. The building today lives on in these traces with the existing elements being moved up to the terraces on the upper floors of the retaining walls. The steel staircase, in fact, it's a steel staircase uh, and it's been clad in this terrazzo. Uh, it's a structural steel staircase that hangs in space and you can see some of the structure elements in this stainless steel uh, and it's a circular staircase and it's one of the modern features of the Divan Kuru Cheshme that GAD architecture has implemented. This is in fact for large weddings so there's going to be a lot of people coming in at the same time and this provides a kind of ceremonial entrance both on the street side but also when you go upstairs to the main banquet room this very ceremonial entrance with this very grand staircase is part of the uh, GED's design to make this a space where both history and contemporary life can come together. These retaining walls, the system of retaining walls and brick and structural and brick and uh, masonry uh, are also with us here in this main lobby space along with the traces, these terrazzo traces of the plumbing and outdoor backyard features of the yellow that have been written into the space here. This overall ensemble is held up in another system of reinforced concrete uh, slabs and columns. So there's a quite complex system of surfaces and structures that make GD architecture's design at Duvar and Kuruceshba a unique piece of contemporary architecture here on the Bosphorus. We're now in the lower back area of the Divan Kuruceshme. This is a barrel vault. This is the continuation of the very large retaining wall 
on the back side of the Divan Kuru Cheshma, away from the shoreline. This is the retaining walls uh, structure. This were underneath the retaining wall, but we have this large barrel vault now today supported partly by reinforced concrete. Uh, but the system of arches and vaults that really makes the Divan Kuru Cheshma's architecture design-wise really live in this condition between the past and the present. Here, this is a very contemporary space. We have the same terrazzo flooring we saw on the entrance, but this changes between this barrel vault into another arch here that supports another arch behind us. This is a very complex structural system in masonry that existed before this building was made the last 10 years. And the task for GED architecture has been to retain the structural system, give it some aesthetic and design purpose for this contemporary setting that we have now. But at the same time, it really allows you to see that you're existing in history because these vaults and arches are parts of Ottoman architecture's past. Ivan Kuru Cheshme has two circular staircases and these are hanging in space using this system of stainless steel and structural steel clad in terrazzo and these are hanging in space kind of weightless obviously we see some structural steel elements here that allow this to be held in this position and it's the example of the modern architectural idioms used in this project we do have steel and glass we do have a sense of lightness in space and to achieve that lightness we use steel to hold up this very heavy staircase in space to give it a kind of ceremonial purpose. We're here in the main banquet hall of the Divan Kuru Cheshme. And above us is the elaborate steel structural system that allows for this large open space to be created. Uh, this room actually can be compartmentalized into three separate rooms. We have some walls here that are open and closed. Uh, importantly, this interior, the interior design of the, of the Divan Kuru Cheshma is by Metex, uh, Sinan Kafadar, uh, and they're responsible for some of these interior elements. This carpet, for example, is the traces of the old building that we see downstairs in Terrazzo. And in terms of those traces, the most dramatic aspect of the history of this building has been retained here in the main banquet hall, and that's this hammam below me. This hammam, in fact, was the outbuilding of the Ottoman front side yellow that existed here. So the hammam uh, that was found during the excavations, the archaeological excavations of this back garden has been retained, and it's actually been hung up such that you can see its foundations here the hammam, the foundations, you can see where the hot air used to be pumped in through the fire on this, this side, the caldarium, the frigidarium. Overall, the attempt to retain the history of the building in this interior, the interior design, also the historical program and research by Gusen Tanyan has made this a ensemble of architects, designers that have worked together with GED architecture and the owner's Divan, Divan Kuru Cheshme, to bring together both contemporary life and the past. This elaborate steel structure above us, where you can see the glass lighting fixtures, you can see the heating and cooling systems. These are all part of the design. They're not hidden away. The structure is apparent to us, the steel columns, the steel rafters, the purlins that go outside and are part of the dramatic contemporary aspect of this building.